Right, guys, we interrupt the general programming broadcast for this this video. This isn't planned. Uh, I just thought it should be just should be said. So uh, I'm one day behind on videos now. Basically, I think a lot of people out there are missing the point of what I'm trying to do in the ninja the ninja training, uh, ninja world, ninja information, ninja training, ninja everything. Basically. I think people are only watching videos with the word ninja in the title. And the main point of this video is to say to you guys, nearly 99.9% .9 of my videos are to do to build the realistic picture of military Japan, of warfare Japan, of, of basically the uh, military regime, the military life, the samurai life, including ninja of Japan. Uh, occasionally I'll do a different video, some on Vikings, some on, you know, English history or whatever, but I do that occasionally. But on the whole, they're all set up to uh, explain what the ninja actually did through understanding the rest of Japan. And what I've noticed is that when I upload videos, I get a certain amount of it, number hits for ninjas, I get a certain amount of hits for Samurai, then anything else has a lower level. So recently, because I've been doing um, Yin Yang, um, I can tell we've got Ninjas, Samurai, Yin Yang views, and it's like this, depending on what the subject is. You guys are totally, totally missing the point, right? I did a video a while ago, last year, mid last year or sometime, and it was how to move a Samurai army, and I had to put on the thumbnail, including Ninja. Excuse me. Now, basically, um, because P it was one of the most ninja orientated videos in the world, but people were like, oh, it doesn't say ninja on it, so I better not watch it. And I'm finding the same with things like this yin yang now. Now, the reason I did yin yang is because I come across yin yang so much. So to understand first, so rem right, what I want to say, guys, is remember, I started from nothing started from everything nothing yes i've been to university yes i've got a master's degree on top of that you know i've gone done university twice i would love to have got a phd but it's mega expensive so uh, and i would still like to do it in the future so my point being is i started out before university with some sand in my hand throwing it in the eyes doing taijutsu going yes this is what ninjas do I'm not saying the Taijits was bad, I quite enjoyed the martial arts training I got and I think it was very good actually. And that was through the Bujinkan. Not all of it is good through the Bujinkan, but the places I went, yep, I'll give it that, that's pretty good. And I'm from quite a rough area, so it wasn't like, you know, just you didn't know about fighting. It's from a rough enough area, Salford and Manchester and Oldham and all that. So, you know, I enjoyed the martial arts. But, of course, the history was totally rubbish. I throw sand and the ninjas are dishonourable and the samurai are... Why did we all love ninjas being dishonourable but the samurai are... It was weird, actually, thinking back. So, basically, that's where I started. And you have to remember, guys, that all I did was start looking and asking questions. And it's the same now. And what's happening is I'm going deeper and deeper into those questions. And the more I want to know about ninja up here, ninjas, you know, the deeper it goes into the roots of the question. So, for example, let's take Yin Yang, the new book that's coming out. The amount of people watching the videos is much less. And I'm like, why? Yin Yang is pretty much the fundamental uh, groundwork for life in Japan. So, if you didn't know, Yin Yang starts in China, comes across... And it's pretty much a foundation of Japanese society. Everything is divided into yin yang, um, the beginning of the universe, everything, even down to ninja attitude. So the shinobi go in with a certain, either yin yang attitude of mind or a yin yang attitude of body. The samurai, it's there. It was coming up everywhere. And people are like, oh, yin yang, I know about that. Yeah, it's um, it's just male and female, negative and positive. It's like, no, you, no, that's not correct. So you need to understand it. So I went and wrote a book on it. I didn't know anything about yin yang. I was just like, yeah, yeah, it's negative and positive, female and thingy. Yeah, so I started, I was like, it got to the point where I was doing my samurai research and it was like, I need to know more about this subject. So I dropped whatever I was doing or put it on the back burner and went and wrote a book on yin yang and just did loads and loads of research and study. I just bang, 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 get as much information as I could on yin yang, go and see what everybody's written about yin yang, pull it together, give it the Anthony Cummins once over, like, here you go, guys, making it simple for you. And that's it. And, and out it's come. So do get yourself a copy. I'm going to keep it on the, the screen just because it's quite annoying. It's not even out yet. It's not even out for another five months. But the point I'm making is people are like, oh, that's nothing to do with Ninja. It's everything to do with Ninja. If you are absolutely obsessed with Ninja, the same I am. If you're there saying you're truly studying the Ninja ways, then you should be clicking on all the Japanese titles I have. Obviously, if it's Irish mythology or something, I've done some because I'm helping 
do a book, support a book or something like that, and yeah, I get it, you don't want to watch it. But you are missing so much by just watching the ninja only videos. You're missing about 80% of the reality of what it was to be a ninja. Because at this level, there's Japan. There's then Japanese people. There's then Japanese society. There's then the military class on top of that. And then there's the ninja as a small part of that military class. And all you're doing is watching the videos that are slightly on that. Without understanding all those complex layers. Which I spend ages digesting and then bringing back to you so it's easy like for those who watched my yin yang video yesterday it was like which is yin which is yang which way does it go you know up or down hot cold position all that you get it and once you know that you understand for example there's a ninja scroll i've got which says um, when you go out into battlefields and things like that or you know where people have died you've got to turn people to their yin yang relative positions Okay, that's a ninja's job or part of it. It's everybody's job, but that's what's specifically said in one ninja manual. Okay, but we know that Yang is the sky and we know that Yang uh, males are attributed to Yang and we know that the earth is female and that females are attributed to Yin. So here we go. A ninja's got to understand the basic, basic things. Samurai as well have to understand these basic, basic things. So if you are watching only my ninja videos, you are totally missing the point of what I am doing with this channel. So make sure, guys, you watch all the Yin Yang videos, all the samurai videos and the ninja videos if you want a proper understanding of the ninja. Right, we'll get back to teaching tomorrow. Um, but I thought I would do this one because literally uh, I'm just seeing this three-tiered effect. And it's been on since the beginning. And I can't understand why anybody would not want to understand the basics of Japanese culture to understand how the ninja work because it's all integrated. They are not separate. They are not separate. They're integrated into Japanese society. And you need to understand Japanese society to get a grip to them all. All right, guys, enjoy.